All right, so as you could see from your paper that you've been looking at, the one that you click on from video to video, you've noticed that I did not put you right to practicing how to add polynomials. I decided that because I think that once you realize that subtracting polynomials is almost the same thing as adding, you're going to be okay with it. So before we get into it though, I just want to show you something. In the last video, remember to get rid of brackets. All you do is get rid of them when you're adding. Okay? So if there's a positive sign, now if there's nothing, that means there's a positive sign. Just like if there's a 5, a 5 is actually positive. You could put the plus there, but you don't need to. Same with this one here. There was nothing there. Okay? And so there's no need for a positive sign in front of this. All right, so to get rid of the brackets, all you do is write 2x squared minus x plus 4, and you're done. But what happens if you have a minus sign or a negative sign, doesn't really matter to me which one you want to call it, in front of this bracket right here? How does that affect this inside here? Well, here's what you do. If you have a minus sign there, and you're dealing with the kind of questions that we're about to deal with, all you do is change every sign inside here and change this to plus. Uh, maybe a long time ago you learned that subtracting is really the same thing as adding the opposite. So instead of 5 minus 4, it's just like saying 5 plus negative 4. Notice we just made a plus sign here and we put a negative sign in front of the 4. We're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to add the opposite. So we're going to do that with this polynomial, or a trinomial if you want to be really precise. So let's do that. Let's put a plus sign. We can leave the brackets if you want, just for now. What is the opposite of 2x squared? Well, negative 2x squared. What's the opposite of negative x? Positive x. What's the opposite of plus 4? Minus 4. Okay, this is the opposite of this. And so uh, now, if you can remember how we did that just now, we can move on to a question that looks like this, where we're taking one, po one polynomial. This one's positive. Notice there's nothing there, so it's positive. And over here, we've got a polynomial with a negative sign in the front of the brackets. So let's remove the brackets. Remember this way. Because this one's positive, all we do is just remove the brackets. We don't have to do anything special. But with this one, we're going to put a plus sign. Okay, so we're going to put a plus sign right there. And instead of writing 2x squared, we're going to do the opposite of 2x squared, which is negative 2x squared. Okay? Instead of positive 3, instead of negative 3, we're going to put a positive 3. Instead of negative 2, positive 2. Okay. You don't have to do this many steps if you don't want to. I'm just rewriting it again, which is kind of a waste of time. I really could have just written it out. Remember that a positive, well, basically I'm just going to remove the brackets, but remember positive and negative. Do you remember which one wins out? Well, you remember that. I've said it a few times. I'm just removing the brackets now. Okay. The next step is simply to gather like terms. So you look for any other x squareds out there. Ding, ding, ding. Here's one. What's 3x squared minus 2x squared? That's right. It's just x squared. Look for any other x's out there. Ding, ding. I can hear you dinging. 4x plus 3x, you get plus 7x. I'm just going to cross it out to make sure we keep on top of things. Negative 5, here's our constant, and a plus 2. A little trick here. Think about it. What's the answer? That's right, negative 3. Here is the result of subtracting this trinomial from this trinomial we get this trinomial. This is our answer, and we are done. 
Now I want you to practice this at the Khan Academy using the link provided on your sheet of paper. Okay?